AFC Playoffs, the one everyone was waiting for. Chiefs-Bills, Chapter 71. Chiefs own the Bills in the playoffs, but they've never been to Buffalo this time of year. Home of Bills Mafia and Griselda. Not that one, this one. They got Benny the Butcher dropping promos and Temps dropping below freezing. But the Chiefs got this guy. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck... Nah, people have made fun of my voice for my entire life. Then it must be Patrick Mahomes. Oh, and Twiggy was at the game too. Bills come out the gate strong, manhandling the Chiefs, who've never looked softer than this. Bills have the balls to fake the punt, but not the heart to get the first. Get a stroke of luck from the football gods, probably because they hate Travis Kelsey. But in the end, Josh Allen develops temporary blindness on the final drive. We get Scott Norwood part two with the knuckleball. And Miss Six O'Clock's going to have to head to be more and watch her man get lit up by Roquan Smith, Patrick Queen, and the number one seed. You know what Omar said. You come at the king, you best not miss. AFC Playoffs, Ravens-Texans. In 2018, Lamar Jackson scored an absolutely abysmal 13 on the Wonderlick test. The test predicted his job fit would be janitor. Same as Marshawn Lynch, by the way. Then Lamar went on to become NFL MVP. Well, last year, the NFL moved from the Wonderlick to the S2 cognitive test. And CJ Stroud, well, he bombed the evaluation with an 18 out of 100. That's an F minus minus for those scoring at home. Now, of course, he'll likely be named Rookie of the Year in a matter of weeks. First half, this one was tied up, but in the second half, Lamar took over, making people look silly all day. In the end, it was Jackson outscoring CJ on the field, the only test that matters. He'd finish with two passing touchdowns, two rushing touchdowns, and a 34-10 win. He's probably going to go by one of those I beat up your honor roll student stickers for the whip. By the way, check out our Wonderlick podcast when you get the chance to see what kind of careers the test identified for everyone from RG3 to Run CMC. NFC Playoffs, Bucks lions The Baker Mayfield Redemption Tour started with a win over R&B Smooth, Jalen Hurts, and the Slumping Eagles. Meanwhile, those blue-collar Detroit Lions squeaked out the win over the Hollywood Rams last week. Jared Goff was all smiles. Matthew Stafford's wife was not. Now the two franchises that once suffered through zero win seasons square off with a trip to the NFC Championship on the line. Tied up in the fourth when Big Play Gibbs takes it to the house and takes the game over. Bucks looking to make a comeback, but Baker does what Baker does and throws a pick. Ask your local Browns fan about that. Lions and Baker's redemption tour set their sights on redeeming Detroit for the Pistons and bringing a second football championship to Michigan this year. NFL playoffs, Niners, Packers, Green Bay coming off the big win in Dallas, Dax getting stomped by the media, his teammates, their mothers, even those kids from that Waka Flocka Spring Break concert came back to kick him while he was down. Meanwhile, Mike McCarthy, well, he's chilling. But the pack ran into San Francisco this weekend, and the squad from NorCal did what they do. Spread the ball around, ran hard, played tough on D, and made Mr. Irrelevant look like Joe Montana with nothing but checkdowns. Niners come back in the fourth, Pack miss a big field goal. Jordan pulls a Brett Favre with the crossbody throw and INT, and San Francisco moves on. 